How many people wear sunscreen every day? I do. So, this is a truck driver. As you can see on the left side of this face, it's severely more damaged than the right side of the face. This is caused by the car. Now, this is an extreme case. Obviously, he's a truck driver. He's not driving to and from the call center or to pick up his kids from school or whatever he's doing. He's not he's in the car a lot longer. But what we did find is that we did a, a pilot study. 100% of our participants had more damage on the left side of their face than the right side of their face. What we also found is that the majority of skin cancer in the United States is on the left side of the face and on your left arm. Mm -hmm. Exactly. It's from the car. Damage happens in less than five minutes. That means that if you're walking the dog, if you're outside with your kids, if you are in your, if you're even sitting where Caleb is over by the window, your skin is by the sun. The window does not protect you from the sun and it's going to harm you. This is what we call incidental sun. This is actually stronger in the winter than in the summer. The UVA rays are worse in the winter, UVB worse in the summer. So while people are protecting themselves with their SPS against their UVB rays, they're not protecting themselves against UVA. What does that mean? That means that um, up until December, if you bought a copper tone or a uh, banana boat, whatever, sunscreen, and it said broad spectrum, broad spectrum meant that it was supposed to protect against UVA and UVB rays. But they don't say how much they're protecting against UVA rays. It was very, very minimal. So finally, the FDA did something good. And they came in and they said, if you're going to say broad spectrum, you need to protect equally against UVB and UVA rays. So those companies started to reformulate their products, found that it was very expensive to do so and do it correctly. Um, so now they say a lot of times, it protects against UVA and UVB rays. They took the word broad spectrum out since they weren't allowed to use it anymore. These products are not going to help you with your your day to day, your aging, and all any of those things. It's only going to protect um, questions so far? Scared <laughs> What about makeups? Makeups? Makeups usually have um, a slight SPF in it, usually about 20. Um, that's just UVB, no UVA. Coming from the place of a, oh sorry, coming from a place of a customer, I was wondering, like, isn't the sun five minutes a day good for you to know but like five minutes a year or whatever? Um, you can get vitamin D and still be wearing sunblock. Yes. <laughs> you can be fully. I let's put it this way. I went on my honeymoon in May to the Dominican Republic, and when I came back, everyone asked me if I was actually at home the whole time because I protected myself properly. I still got the vitamin D. I was in the sun all day long, but I didn't even have the slightest tan because I protected myself properly because I started getting. <laughs> I have the same question. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, perfect. Um, so, about 17% of American women have gone to a dermatologist at least once. Now, if they've gone once, they probably about 7% we can say go on a regular basis. So, a lot of people, you and me, and a lot of other people are included in the fact that we didn't have the proper people telling us what to use on our skin and how to use it, what the differences are, and anything like that. So where do we go? We go to the pharmacy or we go to the department of beauty stores, right? So uh, I hate to break this to everyone who likes expensive skincare products, but this is the product is this. And every time you open the jar, you stick your grinding fingers and make you get bacteria in it. And Sam, it's actually the same company, right? Same ingredients, yeah, same company. Yeah, L'Oreal and Yeah. yeah. <laughs> What's even more fun is that, okay, so you get one with a pump bottle or a squeeze or something like that. Every time you open that, it, it is oxidized, which means that the ingredients that they originally put in the product are no longer working. Because once they're touched by air, they don't work anymore after a certain time. 
So those are the two of us. So we've been growing. I know personally, I've spent a lot of money on skincare products in department stores and at beauty stores. And I thought I was doing myself a service because I said, I'm spending a lot of money on skincare. You know, I'm doing something good for myself. Um, unfortunately, I was doing the wrong good thing for myself. And I'll show you later what happened. Um, so we need to get to consumers the same types of products that dermatologists are able to get to their patients, OK? And before photomedics and radius emerged, photomedics was only selling to doctors and dermatologists. It, was it is professional skincare. And these companies don't have the ability to bring that skincare to everyday people. Luckily, they found Zola, and Zola plays a great to everybody. So we have the same exact formulas, I'll go into that as ever before, but this is where we differentiate ourselves from others. Our ingredients, okay, like I said before, the ingredients that are putting in their products, yes, they do exactly what they say they're going to do, if you put them in at the exact percent that you're supposed to put them in. If I put Capisol in at 1%, if I go to smooth, or if I put Capisol in at 8%, it wouldn't work. It needs to be between brands. And each level needs to be tested. So we do the same thing with Neoma. We actually do it much bigger with Neoma. And, um, and everything that the exact percentage needs to yeah, give you the results that we claim to be the best. Technology, the delivery system is different than any other product that you've ever used before. A lot of ingredients are too big to penetrate the skin and get deep enough to actually correct the damage that's been incurred. So we took the ingredients and we put it in something smaller than themselves. We put it in liposomes. And what the liposomes do is they're able to penetrate the skin, but not only that, this is the work. They go in, they look for the damage, they find it, and then they explode on it. I don't know. You make that sign in Florida that I make. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> We're correcting. So a lot of you have heard me talk about not skin, how it heals, specific treatment This is going to be something very, very similar. We are correcting and repairing the damage that's been incurred to your skin. Damage to your skin that you're starting to see now or start to see 30 actually was incurred when you were about 13, 14 years old. So you can't do anything about it. You can't go back to your 13-year-old self and shake them and try to put things off out of their nose. They're not going to listen to you. So we're going to correct that damage for you. And then we're going to also protect it against future damage. We're light activated. Our SPS are all light activated. So what that means is when you go to the beach and you see the green over the ocean, that green is photolysis. And it's protecting the sea light from the sun. It goes away at nighttime and it comes back out in the daytime. We use the same technology in our products. And what that means is, and the reason why that's important, is because when I'm inside here right now, I want my products to be correcting my skin. Okay? When I go outside, I want them to be protecting my skin. It makes it work double time so that it's not fighting one another to try to do two things at once. Go over it. Can I ask a question? Yes. How long does it last? Uh, officially, 80 minutes. Any SPF only lasts 80 minutes. Well, up to 80 minutes. We have the highest in the whole sunscreen uh, market. Most are about 60 minutes. We have 80. Um, that being said, I know personally I put on my sunscreen in the morning and I'm not going to reapply all day long unless I'm sitting in the sun. That's okay too. But maybe before you leave, if it's the middle of summer and it's light out when you leave work or something, put a little bit more on before you leave work. You can wash it off when you get home. Make sense. But you don't have to sit there and reapply it off. Um, <laughs> um, when, when you talk about that, are you saying, so let's say that it says we're going to protect you from 65% of the rays. Let, I, I mean, I don't even know what it says, but let's say that that's 100%. Right. So 100%. Protect from 100% for 80 minutes, right? Yes. And you're saying that that quality is guaranteed for 80 minutes. Mm -hmm. Do they have any kind of a study that talks about minute number 81 being 99%? I'm sure that there is. It is in the study, but because the sunscreens are so heavily regulated by the FDA, we can only talk about up to 80 minutes. 
You can only, okay. And when you were on your honeymoon, you didn't just apply it all the way long. You still came back twice. No, I applied it all the way long. I was on the beach, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I had a hat on. I did that. So you have 100% protection guaranteed for 80 minutes? Yes. Okay. We're broad spectrum. We were broad spectrum before the FDA told us that we had to be sure broad spectrum. We've always been. We've found that UVA is extremely important to protect against. And it's always about us. So we were actually compliant when we were supposed to be in May until the lobbyists went to Washington and dated December. Um, but either way, we are 100% compliant with the, with the FDA mandate and um, et cetera. We have a lot of research that has been done in 20 years. They're constantly changing. Barbara in our New York, in our Pennsylvania office, she is amazing. She is obsessed. She is coming out, finding the newest technologies all the time and putting them into the products. It's actually really annoying because I'm constantly having to change the products. Um, but it's good, for, it's good for our customers, for sure. And we have true airless models. So what that means is, is, is the bottles that need it, not so much the substance, but the bottles that need it, they are able to get out every last drop to the very, very top because it's, it's completely airless inside and it's lifting it up with every pump. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. People get mad at me all the time, and I'm sure some of you are with us. Um, <laughs> um, the reason why our bottles are not clear and you can't see how much is left is because if I make it clear, it gets touched by the sun and it's gone. Is the silk shear one of the airless? The silk shear is being changed shortly to airless, but it actually doesn't need it because of the um, So when Dola gave me his speech, he's all a good salesperson, I'm going to tell you. Mm -hmm. And he told me about this great new product line we were going to get when we had a merger. I said, yeah, okay. He told me that skincare is BS my entire time working here. And he's going to tell me that I have to sell it and I can eat it. So we have this device. It's called the Vizio machine in our office. And Dola bought them to prove to us that we were all wrong. He loves to do that. Um, and I went underneath. What I use, 
I'll say my resume. I use Radiant Cleanser, one thousand of each. Then I use DNA Silver Repair. And then I use AFI. And then I use Day Therapy and Self Care because I'm not a strong sex reader. I'm high on it all on. And I have to say, your skin looks really good. Yeah. Thank you. You look yeah. like you've had like a makeover of facial since last month. That's time. nice. I only yeah. slept for four hours last night. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even think it was four. There's no way it was four. <laughs>
Well, that's what I'm concerned about is, are people of color going to be, is it going to mess up their love? Caleb! <laughs> <laughs> Caleb, uh, in terms of like, I put it on my hand and it was like a pink purple, that's not a pink color, so I use every day. Oh. Or, um, we had a dermatologist come in and she said that she recommended mixing her their foundation with the cell chair. So you put a tiny bit, it's a new thing, but apparently they were doing it in all the doctor's offices and dermatologist offices and not telling us about. They put a tiny bit of the foundation in with the cell chair and mix it all in, and it gives the same brain glow to any skin color. But the primary part of it is to make it on too. Yes. So what about people with allergies? People <laughs> allergenic. <laughs> it is not all natural. I'll tell you right now, I'm going to test my how I have the most sensitive skin I've ever heard of. She is paranoid to high heaven about what she was going to let touch her skin. And she's obsessed with me at the other product line. Yeah, so let's get the upsells going, let's go crazy. And then when we start moving out, we'll show up more. Mm -hmm. We did offer it by itself, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. it's so we didn't do it as well because right. you're talking to people who have never heard of it and they're mm -hmm. calling it for a hair problem, right? So yeah. we're actually making it easier. We're putting it in with the tip. Now, not only are we putting it in with the tip, but you're practically getting it for free by the time we do that. Yeah. And yeah. then, guess what? Charity's going to call them in a couple of months, and she's going to sell them some more. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's okay. I'm just 